Hey guys, Pete here. Today I've got an update on the sixth season of The Expanse. Yesterday I saw an article that seems to confirm a rumor that had been going around about The Expanse's final season being shorter, and possibly as short as only six episodes. Getting less Expanse is never good news as far as I'm concerned, but I thought I'd try to look at this and see if it makes sense. There will be some slight spoilers here about the structure of the sixth book in the series, Babylon's Ashes, but I won't be giving away anything that might spoil what's going to happen, especially how it might end. With that out of the way, let's get started. On September 6, 2021, the Midgard Times posted an article titled The Expanse Season 6, End is Coming and It Could Be Shorter Than We Expect. The article makes a few key assertions. First, that the final season is supposed to drop in December, although that's not finalized and it's possible that it might be moved to January. Next, we know the show has been in post-production since June, and the article claims that they can confirm that's going to end on November 26th, which would mean the show would be done and could premiere any time after that. And finally, that they have reports that the season will only be made up of six episodes, which would make it the shortest Expanse season by far. I guess the first question to ask is any of this credible? By name, the Midgard Times definitely doesn't carry the weight of a publication like Deadline or Hollywood Reporter might. But at the same time, this is a weirdly specific kind of breaking news article from a website that might be smaller, but isn't really a clickbait outlet. To me, it sounds like they have contact with someone who works on visual effects for the show. And I can't say for sure if The Expanse does this, but it is a thing that some visual effects work does get outsourced. But beyond that, they make a pretty good argument based on the number of shooting days on Season 6. It's been reported elsewhere that they filmed from January 27th through May 7th, which is a total of 98 days. To quote the article, if the series is going to have 10 episodes, 50 minutes to 1 hour each, that means each episode with all the COVID regulations have to take only 9.8 days to complete. Also, the cast and crew would have worked without taking a break. Now let's compare that to the previous season, which took 5 months, approximately 150 days including holidays and weekends, to complete the production. That means 15 days or 2 weeks on each episode. They concluded, based on that calculation, that their source is credible in saying that there's probably only going to be six episodes. They go on to say that they think that the maximum you could shoot in that time period would be seven or eight episodes, and they don't think it's likely considering that a sci-fi series has so much post-production work. I'll have to default to one thing being a fact, and that is that it's indisputable that they filmed season six in significantly less days than they spent on the previous seasons. And with the pandemic, those restrictions would probably slow production, if anything. So, with a possible inside source and other reports from people saying that they've heard similar things, plus a logical breakdown of the time spent shooting, a six-episode final season does seem possible. My knee-jerk reaction was to feel kind of crushed. I want more, not less, especially since this is the last season that we know for sure is being made. I saw a lot of comparisons to the final season of Game of Thrones being thrown around, which is still the go-to example of not ending things in a satisfying way. The question I wanted to look at in this video is, does a short season mean that we can expect to be disappointed by the ending of our beloved Expanse series? And to that, I gotta say no. Even coming from the perspective of not loving to hear this, and still hoping that it might not be accurate, the Game of Thrones comparisons don't really fit. With The Expanse, there's already an ending to the sixth book, which is what they're adapting here, and it came out years ago. It was written by the authors who also write for and produce the television show, and they've understood where they're taking this story from the beginning. So when you look at that, it's just night and day compared to a show that passed this source material halfway through and was being adapted by someone else who was working towards a list of bullet points on how it would end. 
What's funny is I did notice at the end of season five, when they were doing their interviews, they didn't confirm how many episodes the final season would have. They were actually kind of elusive about it. And at the time, of course, I was hoping that that meant that it could be longer. And I did go back and look at those earlier today, and it's clear they didn't want to answer that question, which means they could have known that it was going to be shorter or it might be, and they didn't want to get that out there because people do tend to make that GOT comparison. In my recent Future of the Expanse video, I talked about the potential release date for Season 6 and looked at the post-production times for the previous seasons. That led me to suspect that the show would probably come out later in the winter or early spring rather than December, and if it really is coming out at the end of the year like it usually does, then that would almost certainly mean less episodes. But where this really started to sink in was when I started thinking about where things were left at the end of Season 5 and what parts of the story had already been moved forward. And I just want to throw it out there that ever since it was confirmed that Season 6 would only be an adaptation of Babylon's Ashes, with none of the story from the final trilogy being brought in, people have asked the question about how could they stretch what happens in that book out for the length of a 10-episode season. I wasn't one of those people prior to Season 5 coming out, but now it does seem a little more likely. Primarily because of Drummer's story and the fact that she broke with Marco and the Free Navy in the finale. A lot of the sixth book deals with the character Michio Pa. She's a point of view character who's working with and eventually breaks from Marco and the Free Navy and a big turning point halfway through. Michio is one of the characters that was absorbed into Show Drummer's story in Season 3 and they loosely did the same thing in Season 5. Also, Philip already found out that Naomi survived her hard vacuum transit to the Chetsamoka, and Fred Johnson is already dead. That's a pretty big chunk of the setup, and three plot points that they've already moved through towards the ending, and that does have an effect. Some other things to think about. With less episodes, that could mean that they're spending more on each of them, and there are some things that could be pretty impressive to see on screen. If they wanted to go really big on some episodes, they could actually streamline some of the story to get there and not lose much. The runtime could also be a little longer, but at some point it wouldn't make sense for them to be much longer considering the shooting time. I guess the one immediately gratifying thing would be that the show might arrive sooner, and there would probably be an announcement and even a trailer next month. I'm interested to hear what you think about a six episode run if you've read the books. I think it could probably work and it might even be optimal. It doesn't mean that I have to like it, but overall what's most important is that they deliver an ending that feels complete for what they're trying to say. I suppose in that light, since I don't have a good reason to think that they would be under constraints and they wouldn't be able to make a full season, that we can trust that if it turns out to be shorter then that's what they thought would work best. The last thing to consider is that they've already done this once. They condensed the third book down to seven episodes at the end of season three, and in my mind, that's a more complicated story to tell. They had to do that without moving significant events up in the timeline because of the ring gate. So if you really enjoyed the pace of the second half of season three compared to the first two and a half seasons, you might be in luck. To get to wrapping this video up, I guess a lot of fans, myself included, were hoping that we might see the adaptation of Strange Dogs, which is a novella that happens in Laconia about the same time as the events of Babylon's Ashes. A shorter season might mean that's not going to happen, but that was never confirmed, and it's still pretty hard to say how they'll leave things. Like I've said in previous videos, there is a definitive ending to what's going on now in Book 6. As you might guess, considering that there's another trilogy that follows, that it definitely doesn't answer all the questions. And that's why universally pretty much everyone wants to see them figure out a way to adapt the rest. As far as this, I think it's a good place to leave it. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I wanted to take a second to say thanks to the people who sent me tips from my last video. That's extremely generous and I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.